I think it's time to have a serious talk about performative charity, aka poverty corn. This is when an influencer with a large platform decides to film themselves giving money or food to the hungry so that they look great. Let's get one thing straight. Strangers do not want to be in your TikTok video. As a creator who's tried to talk many a stranger into acting for me, people do not want it. So these influencers get around that issue by calling it a social experiment and by stalking Walmart and low-income places with hidden cameras. I'm gonna tell you a story. I once did a video that made fun of these guys and I wanted to use an actual needy person. There was a guy on the corner that I'd seen regularly. I gave him food, I gave him sandwiches, I met up with him twice. I explained the scene very, very clearly and he seemed great with it. But when I finally posted it, when he finally saw my numbers, he got very offended. He asked me to take it down, which I did, and I realized something. Some people do not want to be filmed at a low point in their life. Some people do not want to tell the world that they're going to miss their rent. And when you go into Walmart and film people and you know the outcome, it's not actually an experiment. These guys are able to manipulate the narrative by cherry picking who they're going for. They want to make sure it's someone helpless and thankful and someone to cry for them. They're doing this so that you feel bad so that you spend money on their GoFundMe. I'm always reminded of the story of Reed Choi, a guy who got caught cheating on his girlfriend with multiple women and then sought redemption by using a homeless lady. Well, Reed's motives and financial organization were called into question and he was basically canceled again for it. In the end, he may have stolen money from the charity and basically left the woman no better off than how she started. But Reed is one of the clumsy ones. Bear in mind, the marks here are not the people used in the video. The mark is you, the viewing public. Topper Guild was recently defending himself saying, oh, well, I'm doing a good thing. I'm spending my own money to help people. Yeah, I'm sure this Prime sponsorship didn't help at all, right? Here's my bigger point. People say it's win-win, they get publicity, and I don't mind getting them rich as long as someone gets helped. What about if she didn't want to be portrayed this way? What if she sees this a couple years later and she's like, that is horribly embarrassing. As usual, the homeless have no voice to defend themselves if they don't like the way they're portrayed. And even if they did post about some nonsense, nobody would believe them because the influencer contains all the power. Since they control the narrative, roll in with hidden cameras, and do things that they'd never do to a high-income person, they're able to completely portray themselves in a way that makes them look like saints. They even say bless in some of these videos. So yeah, I think people are hurt and offended by this, but you'll never hear about it because the people that they're using don't have a voice to speak back up.